this is quite a question because they're talking about the gradient of the tangent to the curve of that equation and then they say in that point so let's take this step by step and see what it actually means first of all the gradient of the tangent that is just another way of asking for the first derivative so we'll take the equation y is equal to a third x cubed and we'll find the first derivative of that first so we'll multiply the exponent with the coefficient 3 times a third is 1 and then subtract 1 so we'll get x to the power of 2 now what we have there is a formula for the gradient of the tangent because why this is a formula and not the value is if we take a look at the cubic graph just a rough sketch of this cubic graph on an axis diagram it might look something like that so let's say that is the cubic graph then we have a point minus 2 let's say it's there which will intersect there and it will have a y value of minus 22 over 3 and that identifies that point on the uh, actual curve of this equation or on the actual graph and then if we draw a tangent in that point it might look something like that but what is important uh, at this point is to realize that that tangent in that point is a normal typical straight line graph y is equal to ax plus q or sometimes mx plus c is also how it is being referred to but what is important for us at this stage is just that value the gradient that's all we're interested in in this whole question the gradient of that straight line now that straight line changes for every single point on the green line and now we've got a specific point and we have a formula to find that uh, gradient of that uh, straight line in that specific point now what you need to observe is that we are not even interested in that value there the y value of that point or the y coordinate of that point is not what's going to help us only the x value is what we need to substitute into the first derivative because that is the formula for the gradient so we'll get the first derivative is therefore equal to minus 2 squared and that is equal to 4 and that is the value of the gradient so the value that we're looking for, for to answer this question of the gradient of the tangent is only dependent on the x coordinate of any specific point on that curve not the y values only the x values and that will then give you the answer if you simply substitute it back into the first derivative